I left Telluride and as I'm driving back to go to Delta, I happened to see Ridgeway. It is a really cute town, so I just want to show you. Like, I don't have anything planned here. It's just really cool and there's this one building behind me that is awesome. So, we're gonna get out of the car and go check it out and then uh, get back in the car and start driving because kind of ways to go still. sure while in Ridgeway I found the art version of Spanky. Oh look at him. Yep that pretty much looks like Spanky in, in, in art. And this little dog house that thing is awesome. So yeah just wanted to stop off one of the cute little towns here in Colorado. All of the towns around this area are super cute. So back on the road I go. Have you ever had one of those debates with yourself because you want something but you don't really need something? That just happened. I'm driving for another 20 or so minutes to get to my campsite for the night in Delta and uh, I passed a wiener schnitzel. Now that wouldn't be a big deal except for the fact that for some reason it suddenly made me feel like I needed, needed, not wanted, needed a hot dog. But I don't. So I literally had to tell myself, no, no, you have food. You're eating that food. Keep driving. Yeah. Maybe it's just the road and it's getting to me and I'm having debates out loud with myself. I don't know. I look so shiny. That light. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to Delta for the night um, to camp there and then I'm going to take off from there tomorrow and explore my way all the way to Denver because I pick up Anika at 9 a.m. on Thursday. So tomorrow is going to be a fun adventure day where I'm just kind of going with it. I have a few stops that I might take. I'm not sure yet. So tonight I'm going to map it out and see what I can figure out. But yeah, debating with myself. Hmm. Maybe it's a symptom of being on the road. Back to the road I go. Made it to Delta and good news and bad news. Good news, found this really cool place that has like all of these antique cars that are just really neat. So we're gonna look at that. The bad news, the campground, it's not accessible. So I'm gonna go to Grand Junction. No idea why those are out there, but they are extra cool. And uh, there's a body shop over here that has some more. So maybe they're all associated. And for some people, I'm sure that that wasn't exciting at all, but that was quite the impressive collection. You know that each one of those cars like tells some kind of story. There was one that had a taxi sign still on it. And then there was another one that looked like it had bullet holes in it. So, I don't know what's going on with those cars or why they're in Delta, Colorado, but hey, that made the negative super positive just getting to see that. So now I'm off to Grand Junction before it gets dark. To 
another Grand Junction. Now, I'm hoping, cross my fingers, that I can tap into this Wi-Fi and upload some videos because you guys have been super patient on my videos not being up. And I have like 12 ready. So I'm sitting at a Walmart hoping that their Wi-Fi signal will get to me. Otherwise, in the morning, I'm gonna have to find a Starbucks. I'm also gonna look up some information as to things to do in Grand Junction, because tomorrow I'm gonna slowly make my progress from Grand Junction over toward Denver, so I don't have to like be stressed out on Thursday morning to get to Denver like super early so that I can meet Anika. So, I'll update you guys on if the Wi-Fi worked, and uh, today, it's just been mostly a driving video. Sorry.